going on everybody so really weird sketchy guy and uh in fye haven't done a blu-ray hunting video since last year like months last year but i am back i have a new phone as you might be able to tell on the picture quality or audio quality who knows i haven't tested it yet probably should have tested it before i recorded but i didn't so as you can see, I just got out of FYE. I got three things because they always do the, uh, you know, buy two, get one for a dollar. So I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to, uh, let me put you guys down here for a second. I don't know if I'm going to have the chance to do this at home, so I'll just do it here. Um, for the price of $7.94, it looks rare and it's been there every time I've gone and no one's gotten it yet, so. I've never even seen it before FYE, but I got uh, Abbott and Costello in Buck Privates. Um, it is a digibook. It looks rare, so I picked it up. I've never seen it, never heard of it until FYE, obviously. Um, but for $7.94, it looks rare. I'm going to see if I can get more for it on eBay. Who knows? And then this has been impossible to find for this price, especially with the slipcover, so... I got Snowpiercer also for $7.94. Really enjoyed Snowpiercer a lot. Um, yeah, and then the third thing that I got for a dollar, it's it's a guilty pleasure. It's not the best movie, but it has a slipcover. And all of these possibly have digital codes. So that's a plus. Uh, nonstop, I got it for a dollar with the slips. Um, you can't really beat nonstop for a dollar. Um, yeah. And also in FYE right now, I don't know if your guys' FYEs do this, but right now if you go to their back, go to the back wall, they have a thing where you get one discounted like toy or collectible or something, you get two free. And I'm always a fan of those um, comic book figures that just cut off at their stomach and you can they're like, desk, like table setters, not really table setters, but you, you know what I'm talking about, so... Uh, I wanted the Joker, but it was 20 bucks, and I'm like, even though I get two free, I don't want to spend 20 bucks on top of the however much that was. Yeah, I wouldn't want to spend almost 40 bucks doing that. Yeah, now I think I'm going to go to uh, Cargo Largo. I say this every time, but I'm actually going to go to Cargo Largo and try to get... I, I thought about doing footage in there, but it's just weird. Because this one, they always have employees walking around fixing stuff, so I didn't want to make them mad or anything. But I am actually going to go to Cargo Logo and show you what it actually is. So, yeah, I will see you guys there. So, yeah, guys, we are now outside of Cargo Logo, and there are people walking. So I can't really show you the side of the building. It's just brick and mortar, really. Some people complain that it's really dirty inside, but hey, we're all dirty on the inside. So, yep, I'm gonna go in there and I will see you guys in there. Definitely a lot more busy here than I thought it would be. Hey, Jeffrey. So yeah, Cargo Largo was a big failure. Um, from what you saw, it didn't get much better from there. That's why I caught recording. And because some old dude was standing next to me watching my phone as I was recording the Blu-rays. So I also stopped recording for that reason. You know, it was just a customer, it wasn't an employee, but still, still weird. Um, 
Yeah, and then I went to the collectibles or toys as the kids call them. Um, I found two really cool things. Um, it was a uh, Back to the Future card charger. I want to get copyrighted. It's a Back to the Future car charger. It was the... I'm going to get slammed if I don't know. It's the... It's the thing that powers the the DeLorean. That little triangle, that little tri... -th you know what I'm talking about. It was that thing, but it was a car charger. And it lights up as it charges. And then there was another one. It was uh, the Groot that was in... The Groot that was in a pot. And not only the part that plugs into the car, not only did that have a charging spot, it had four charging spots on the pot as well. So, and that was $30. I didn't want to spend $30, so. Now I'm about to go into the thrift world. They do. They usually don't have movies, but sometimes they have, sometimes, sometimes they have something that you're looking for. Like, uh, one time in here I found the, uh, I found a uh, the two disc special edition widescreen of Attack of the Clones, and it was brand new. I got it for a dollar ninety nine. I sold it for about uh, how much did I sell it for? I sold it for about thirty five, forty dollars, something like that. So you never know what you're gonna find. I am starving. I'm gonna go in here real quick. It's one of those starving where you feel like you're about to fall over. But I'm doing this for you guys. Wow, the camera's all over there. Ah, but. Yes, yeah, so now I'm about to go in here, see what I can find. Probably nothing, but you never know until you try. So I'll come back with an update in a bit. Not in a bit. The next cut. Jump to the next cut right now. Alright, what's going on, you guys? I spent much more time in there than I thought that I might. I spent at least... Goodness, at least 30 minutes, maybe 40. Um, nothing spectacular as far as movies, because obviously a thrift store, like that won't carry blu-rays but what i did find was a um the movie's not great but it's a spider-man 3 poster book it has four like full-size posters on the back as you can see there hopefully and it was not it was a one it was a dollar so the poster is really cool i have the top right one but you can't really beat getting four posters for a dollar, so. And for DVDs for $1.98, I got, oh brother, where art thou? The Blu-ray itself is kind of hard to find. From what I've come come to find, that it's hard to find. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't find it that funny, but, you know, I'm not, I don't hate it either. I might just have to watch it again to see if I actually do enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, so that was my day. Fun, right? It's kind of a waste of a day, to be honest with you, but, yeah. Now I'm sitting in the parking lot. Now I'm thinking, how do you get out? Because I see a little exit thing down there, but I don't know if that's, like, the world's best place to turn out. Or, I, I don't know, so I'm going to figure that out. And try to figure out what these people are doing, and I'll talk to you guys later.